Kate Middleton evokes the sympathy of many. She doesn't shout her views, she doesn't star in soap operas about her life, and she doesn't write scandalous books. But she does what she thinks is right. That includes raising her children. The childhood of royal children, contrary to popular belief, is far from ideal. More often than not, the offspring of royalty grow up in an atmosphere of total indifference, coldness, aloofness. For crown parents to see their children for half an hour to an hour a day is the norm. And that's still a lot, given the long history of the monarchy. But Prince William and Kate Middleton have decided to break the old ways, albeit not as vociferously as Prince Harry did. Kate followed the example of the tragically deceased Princess Diana, but did not announce it to the world. She's just doing her best to make sure her children have a happy life in which their parents will be there for them, will love them, will spend as much time with them as the tight schedule will allow. Middleton immediately rejected numerous nannies, she takes care of the children herself. William fully shares his wife's views in this matter. Of course, like once Princess Diana, Kate also faced misunderstanding in the ranks of the royal family. But she didn't make any public appearances, she didn't write a book about her difficult life, she didn't give disparaging interviews to foreign TV hosts. She simply said that either her work schedule would adapt to that of her children, or she refused to participate in any events. By the way, the move to a modest cottage was also about Kate's desire to provide her children with a quiet life of love and joy. She always wanted her children to be able to walk in the backyard and go to school nearby. Especially since the king's heirs would always have before their eyes the story of himself and his father, who had been sent to a ghastly boarding school in Scotland, where boys were literally tortured under the guise of raising them into strong men. That is long in the past, and Kate will never allow such things to be done to her children. By the way, the king himself, despite the terrible memories of his upbringing, raised his sons in a similar way. The monarch himself does not like to reminisce about his younger years and his time in a Scottish school, 